I will show you a short code generator implemented in WordPress Teams. Each WordPress team includes a list of shortcodes that you may use on your site. I will show you how you may place shortcodes on your site with the simple and user-friendly drag-and-drop shortcode generator. Usually all available shortcodes of the team are displayed on one page at the demo site where you may find the code that needs to be used. But now you may forget about it and use shortcode generator instead. Where to find a shortcode generator? You may use the generator with custom text widgets, pages or posts. I will show you the example with the text widget. Have to go to appearance and widgets and open any custom text widget or, or create a new one. And below the uh, editor, you will find a shortcode button. Add shortcodes. Click on the button to open a shortcode generator area. Now you see three sections, all available shortcodes in the team, drop area, shortcode preview, and three buttons, use shortcode, copy to clipboard, and reset. What actions we may do? Let's focus on this area. Drag and drop or click the item to create a shortcode. Let's click on the testimonial shortcode. It appears in the drop area and on the right side we've got inputs to fill in. Each input is described but uh, put the mouse over the label to see the description. Read those descriptions since uh, they include useful inf information. Maybe this shortcode is, uh, is quite easy but if you use for example the video the detail information is much appreciated. Uh, then we've got uh, two buttons. Sure example button gives you some sample with some data. You may it's ready shortcut, you may use it, but it's the sample only. Okay, now uh, Actions related to shortcode boxes in the drop area. Uh, once you've got a shortcode in the drop area, you may add another one, the same one, using this plus icon, and another one. You may um, duplicate the item. Of course, at first you need to enter some data. Let's do it. Um, text. Some text. You need to press uh, set parameters button to save it. And then when you click copy, duplicate item, the another one will appear uh, below the first one. Uh, with the data you already entered for the previous one. Then you may delete the items you don't want to use. How to change the items ordering? Each another added item will appear below the last one. Let's add several ones. For example, testimonial read more and video. Uh, you may use drag and drop to change the ordering. You may put one short code into another one. For example, let's move read more short code into testimonial. But uh, Adding read more uh, shortcut to video is blocked because uh, there is no sense to do it. So summing up, this way uh, you may 
add short chords one by one. Uh, it will be um, displayed at the side one by one, one after another, and uh, simply uh, and using a drag and drop way, you may simply change the ordering. How we may place short chords one next to the another one? You may use grid for this purpose and place other short chords inside. Let's do the example. It's simply row with one column. The column is now 100% uh, wide by default, but you may use bootstrap size using 1 to 12 numbers according to bootstrap 12 columns rules. If you want to display two short codes in one row, you may simply add another column. It will be divided to uh, two equal columns and uh, if you want to place three uh, short codes in one line, uh, add another one and another one. Okay, the important thing is that you cannot move the column outside the row. Columns uh, do not work standalone. You can do it. You can do move the column outside the row. In the standard short code, when you put a code inside the editor, you have to use calls inside row. The same rules relate to tabs and accordion uh, short codes because uh, we've got uh, short codes tabs and uh, tab items inside. The same is in the accordion. Uh, we've got accordion and accordion items. That's why if we want to uh, delete column, which is, oh sorry, delete, uh, which is uh, the last one in the row, we have not delete uh, icon here, but in the row. Because the row does not exist without the column. Once we have our grid ready with two columns, we may put a short code into each. Let's take for example icon text and testimonial to the second one. And now we have to enter enter a data to each. text and set parameters the same to another one and test data some text and set parameters now if we have our short codes ready we may use short code button to uh, use this generated short code into our editor. Use short code and the code will appear in your editor. You may save the widget now and see results on the site. Thank you for watching.